listed company right yes so uh, it's a com- uh, do you have any confusion like it's legal illegal no. or something else huh some sometimes i'm losing your voice okay sometimes losing voice is your net connection is perfect yeah yeah it's perfect okay you are using wifi or mobile data i'm using uh, wifi <coughs> okay okay great you are connected from to the which wifi place? no no which place uh malwa nagar malwa nagar okay it's in new delhi right yeah new delhi yeah. okay okay so uh now i think our voice is perfect so uh, yes. actually in stock market do you have any issue that uh, is a stock market legal illegal or something what no sir, no not at all you are all clear with it okay so yes basically in a stock market we buy a slice of ownership in any company right if you buy if you are buying a share or uh, from a particular stock right so actually let's see how it works actually stock market of primarily two types right first primary market and second secondary market right what happens in primary market is in primary market uh, first time company uh, listed is uh, shares means first time company is listed in stock market they issue ipo like initial public offerings right they list their company share first time for the public okay and for that they will charge some money for selling their uh, piece of ownership of their company to the public they charge some amount right that is called ipo and uh, in ipo ipo is uh, always it's a private right means uh, you have to apply one on one directly to the company for the ipo right you can you cannot buy it through directly in stock market right but in secondary market we buy directly in stock market and we don't buy directly from the company we buy from another investors which have purchased ipo right so and uh, there are uh, majorly four type of uh, uh, you know regulators are there that runs the stock market first is broker second is depositor which holds your purchase security right uh, broker a uh, broker is just a platform which connects you stock market and a company to each other right they they have not thing to do with your shares and all the things right but depositor what depositor do is depositor hold your shares uh, uh, nowadays when we are buying a share or selling a share uh, it is hold in a you know electronic form right we don't have any paper uh, paper for the shares like we have purchased this uh, shares on paper and we are holding it in earlier uh, before i think uh, in still uh, 2000 before 2015 or 2010 uh, some exchange like uh, bombay stock exchange was also selling or buying share on paper right so if you are buying shares then you will get some paper and on paper your share will be there that you have buy this share and uh, or at this price and currently this is the value of share so on paper these things are done earlier but now these all thing, things are done in uh, electronic form right regulators regulators like uh, sebi okay yeah so so sebi sebi actually regulates sebi has decided some rules and uh, some set of rules some protocols for the stock market trader investor companies and even stock exchange brokers for everything to uh, just a few rules to follow right uh in order to avoid any fraudulent any huge losses for the retail investor and so on right exchange is basically a, you know a platform where which connects a companies to investors right okay so uh, indices are uh, indices what are indices do you know something about indices yeah a bit not all nifty okay. 50 and nifty bank okay so uh, can you tell me what are they uh, i just w- I want to know how basic you know so that it will fast for us to you know sure sure, sure sir. yeah uh, what i know is nifty 50 they consist of 
some uh, I think we call that companies under which let's just say uh, what I remember the last time as for the training or let's just okay. what I are, are you comfortable with Hindi? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with it. Okay, no issue. If you want to go with, you can go with that too. I don't have vision. Sure. Uh, just last time I had so much knowledge in Nifty 50 can there there are some of the companies uh, that comes under it. Okay. Like Gail, ITC, Martin, oh, Susie, okay. Gale, check okay. It. So uh, basically, indices is what? What? Indices are the a bunch of shares, right? Like uh, in Nifty 50, there are 50 companies which makes nifty 50 right yes. and uh, nifty 50 is made just for to check the weather direction of the uh, market right it's in uptrend downtrend sideways where it goes miserly those uh, every shares every stock which is listed in nifty 50 they have some wettage in their uh, in the nifty 50 right so according to their wettage when they move up or downward they drive uh, indices according to that right like if uh, heavy you know um, uh, let's say um, like uh, some shares which have a heavy weighted in nifty 50 like and they are going downwards it will drive nifty 50 to downwards right but if they are uh, if heavy weighted share are uh, driven to uh, they are in uptrend they will drive nifty 50 to uptrend right so these are the basic th uh, basic things uh, that we need to know about indices right and uh, almost every sector has have their own indices basic majorly we trade in uh, uh, nifty 50 okay and uh, bank bank nifty yeah, bank nifty is basically Bank Nifty is basically a list of 10 to 12 shares in it, right? And uh, some are uh, some are the uh, private banks and some are the government bank. Okay. okay. So uh, I will share all the details of bank, which uh, which shares are listed in Nifty 50, and how you can find its weightage in it. Okay. We will uh, sum it in later lectures. So uh, Nifty Bank, Nifty Auto, and so on. All the uh, flow of funds. Uh, I think you know it. Uh, flow, flow yeah. of funds from investors to investors. I think there is no extra fund added to stock market once the company issue uh, IPO, and after yes. issuing IPO, shares are selling from investors to investors, traders to traders. Right? Company doesn't put any extra money in the stock market once they are listed. Right? Give me one second. I'm sorry, my sneeze came off. Okay, okay, no. Just, sure. just give me a second. Sure. Hello? Hello? Ah, sir, tell me. What happened? Yes, tell me. Hello? Yes, tell me. Hello? Yes, आज हम नीचे ट्रेनिंग ले रहा हूँ कुछ देख लो आप भी हाँ to technical analysis right this is the best part right uh, which helps us to decide the you know uh, know the market uptrend and a lot of things we will uh, you know know in this training like what is momentum and uh, how we can trade momentum strategy and we have 16 plus strategy to know but uh, in first two lectures we will learn all about technical analysis and next two lectures we learn all about trading uh, trading strategy Next two lectures, we will uh, learn some option strategy. No, we will learn option strategy in the last. And uh, after each training session, you will get some tasks, right? You will get sure. 100 tasks and you have to do it uh, on paper trade, right? After that, 
after completing training at least do at least 30 training days uh, with uh, trade with a small quantity by following all this uh, all these analysis and strategy right once sure. you, once you uh, able to control your all your emotions all your greed fear like uh, you have completely uh, become best and perfect for the stock market then you will go further right sure. okay so uh, let's start from technical analysis okay yep so basically technical analysis is a method of analysis that uses historical price volume of an asset to determine the probable future price okay so and uh, i'm sorry <coughs> i'm sorry uh, uh, can yeah. i use my mouse when i sneeze can I? Yeah, yeah yeah sure so uh, let's just say if i use my mouse there won't be any problem yourself no 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 all right thank you okay so uh you can uh, take a screenshot of this or uh, I, I will share this in your uh, you know after mail yeah i will share it in your mail okay so if you want to take sure. note or take a screenshot that will be much better because it will help you to you know uh, just uh, figure out letter stage what are the things okay so uh, these are the things and uh, so uh, let's dig a little bit deeper in technical analysis all fundamentals and economical all fundamental economical political and psychological information are discount, discounted and reflection in the market price of an asset okay the psychological the psychology of trading investing is based on human emotion factors like greed hope fear happiness sadness and ego okay since basic human nature does not change hence it tends to react similar situation in consistence consistence way and therefore market action is repetitive in nature so what what all these means is like everybody uh, let's say lot of people are trading in a stock market right they all are human they have shame emotion right when they are going in loss they become fearful when they are making money they will be greedy right all these emotions uh, you know all human have so this these same emotions right and these emotions will you know drive the stock market these emotions will drive uh, the human and the these humans will drive the stock market so what you have to, what we have to do is we will take advantage of these emotions right by using technical analysis and how it will be done like if someone is selling if someone is uh, too much greedy if someone is too much uh, how we react on if someone is too much greedy or too much fearful or too much, too much sad right we will see all the factors in later stage how we will use it and how we will take advantage of all these things right and uh, some uh, economical political issues are there also like when whenever there is election or there is voting in any state right Sorry. and uh, voting can be of any type uh, like lok sabha rajya sabha and uh, mla mp for any type of voting it's uh, directly or indirectly it affects the stock market right so during these days you have to avoid some voting uh, avoid trading right you have to wait and watch and until or unless you are completely perfect on it right okay. so and uh, uh, basically there are two type of analysis first is uh, fundamental and second is technical analysis what is fundamental and technical analysis what is what are the difference in fundamental analysis it's like uh, we check the medical report of you know any company okay right. uh, what are their uh, what uh, let's say if you are going for long term investment then you need fundamental analysis right uh, how much assets company is having what are the debt of in on company and what all the things which are 
uh, what are the profit and loss balance sheet cash flow all the things that we need to check in fundamental analysis but in day trading day trading is a risky thing and you don't need all these fundamental analysis you if you know a little bit technical analysis and you know how to use it then you are good to go in stock market in day trading but right and before going further i would like to clear some things on you know the first is if you are going for day trading day trading is very riskier than other things right it is way profitable but it's also riskier right so if you are going to put your uh, money like uh, if you are borrowing money for trading and if you are putting your emergency fund for trading never do this because a single wrong moment in market can wipe up all your money right so yes. whenever you are going for trading and whenever you are going to trade just put your extra money whatever you have that you can afford to lose right always use only those money and once you once you become perfect you just know how to trade movement how to trade trend you know you you will come to know all these things you, when you will have all the experience then you can go for go for it right just yeah so and uh, in technical analysis uh, we have three type of trend okay uh, first is down trend uh, uh, sorry first is up trend okay second is down trend and third is sideways we will learn how to trade in all these trends right Uh, in in uptrend we can trade in any cash or um, cash or future okay in round in downtrend we can also do the same but in sideways we cannot trade in cash or future because it's more riskier trading in sideways in cash or future right so in sideways what we will do is we will trade in option which will be always beneficial for us right whether market go down or up or there are some strategies in option which gives you money always right so uh, what happened in downtrend and uptrend is when when demand when demand is greater than supply then you know there will be uptrend okay and when supply is greater than demand then there will be downtrend okay it's simple if you know uh, like uh, if there is a if uh, something is uh, present in excess quantity right and people are not interested to buying it then their value will be decreased okay yes, yes. Sir. and if there is uh, there is something which is in less quantity but lot of people are demanding for that then their price and or their value will be increased same thing happens in a stock market okay so and uh, there are four stages when these things happen we will learn how these stages uh, and when these stages come and how we can you uh, take benefit of these stages right sure, sure. so and uh, yeah here is the four four stages trend right uh, first this is the first stage which is consolidation stage uh, let me clear all this i'll make a new here is some consolidation stage s1 s2 s3 and s4 okay uh, this this one is consolidation stage once the stock have uh, given a downtrend it will consolidate at some phase then it will there will be some uptrend okay so our best part to buy is here okay and uh, this is the uptrend here again there will be some consolidation where will be some profit booking okay after profit booking there will be a downtrend downtrend we can sell at the peak and buy at the low in downtrend we can make money in downtrend by this again there will be some consolidation and the same stage will be followed up 
okay sure. okay so uh, uh we will okay so let's go in technical analysis and we will know uh, we will learn something how to draw trend line okay okay so uh, here we in on nifty 50 chart okay so here in nifty 50 chart uh, let me go on weekly chart i want to show you something yeah. see sure. ba basically uh, in a uptrend or downtrend in any trend there are basically three type of trends like first is a long term trend okay see this trend yes You can see here is a long trend okay this is a long term trend and in this long term there is a medium term trend okay can you follow this yes sir okay and in each these medium term strength there is a short term trend can you see okay yeah i get that these are the uh, short term trends okay this is the long term okay sorry this is the long term and this is the medium term trend and these are the short term trend okay but uh, short term trend is basically we can find short term trend in a daily chart okay daily chart is best for best to find short term trend and basically uh, we we trade in uh, when we are doing a day trade means we are doing intraday then we need to follow a uh, daily trend or uh, daily chart okay so let's learn how to draw a trend line how you can draw a trend line basically what you have to do is while drawing a trend line is just uh, give me a second um, where it is extended standard line okay so what you have to do is you have to just connect any two bottom okay basically what uh, what i mean is i mean that you have to find a swing do you understand a swing a swing means when from where you stock has take a turn take in a u turn okay it may be up or it may be down right yeah yeah no uh, no matter what it is okay. there will be an uh, you know a swing from uh, up trend or down trend a move u turn from there okay we can consider swing this to this uh, yeah can you see my cursor yes, yes i do yeah 
we can take this is let me clear it yeah we can call a swing here 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 okay so what you have to do is you have to just connect uh, two line uh, two bottom lines or any two swings okay and extend the line okay and you will find something that stock is taking resistance on these two okay so uh, let's just let me show it in a weekly chart see this if we are connecting only these two lines okay Okay. In order to make it more clear, uh, I'm just connecting. You know, uh, I just want to show you that maximum time how stock takes support on these trend lines. Okay, so we are we are drawing a, it's a, for a long term, which is in weekly chart. Okay, so uh, as we can see, the stock is taking support on this trend line again and again. Here, okay. stock is took one time support. Again here, again here, again, again stock took one time support. Again, one more time stock took support. So, uh, as I told you earlier, that uh, there will be there are a few things. Uh, like uh, consolidation phase, uptrend, downtrend, again, uh, and again some consolidation phase, right? So just uh, let me show you those things here. Can you see a consolidation phase here? Three candles at the uh, around in a range. Can you see yeah. this? Huh? I do. Okay, and it's like it's very small. Okay, so again it's going in uptrend. Okay, mm -hmm. and here again some consolidation. Three, three candles, four candles are there at the same place. Okay, okay. Just uh, let me little bit zoom it so you can see it a little bit more clear. Yeah, it's more clear. Now, hope you can see few candles are here. Yes. One candle, second candle, third candle, four, four candle, fifth candle. Five candle are consolidating at the same place. Okay, in a range. Again, stock is taking a downtrend. Then again, some consolidation. Again, uptrend. Again, in uptrend, still uptrend, some consolidation, a small downtrend. Again, some consolidation here. You can see, right? If we draw a little uh, small line, just that way. Like, see, the stock is trading in a range, right? It's not breaking. After breaking, is in it in downtrend. They are again making a some downtrend, okay. And then again, uh, a small consolidation for one day, again in uptrend, again downtrend. So these okay. things continue, okay. So, so 
so this is how trend lines help uh, trend lines help you and what if you want to trade then how what is strategy what are the things that you need to follow okay i will tell you in later lectures right and this is just a basic knowledge of technical analysis and how you draw trend lines a lot more things are there right i'm not telling more things in this video uh, in this uh, recording right because i have to upload all uh, this for freely uh, to the group right but i have task for you that you have to find uh, at least 50 stocks right uh, uh, i will share my uh, you know i have uh, my 156 stocks as my favorite stock right i will share those stocks with you and what you okay. have to do is you have to check all these you have to select any 50 stock and you have to draw a trend line support and resistance okay okay and you have to mark which uh, from where you are taking trade like well, so uh, ca can you tell me uh, where you can tra take trade uh, from your view from your point of view i am not judging you sure yeah so if we if you can see hmm. see the october chart in 2012 Okay. Where you have marked with a red and circle. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we can do one thing. We can buy at this at the lowest prices there. Yeah. Perfect. And then we can go and we can sell at the. Yeah. Uh, where so, the green ends. Uh, I I I I I got I got your point. Okay. Perfect. I think you are you need you need more about his strategy, but not more about technical analysis. But no issue. I will share some technical analysis which is not shared by any somebody else. right which will helpful and beneficial for you okay so so you uh, just note down your task your task is you have to find 100 stocks uh, 50 stocks okay and in those 50 stocks you have to you have to find a trend line you have to draw a trend line okay for e at uh, on all these 50 stocks you have to uh, you can draw as many as you can but uh, i need at least 50 stocks in those 50 stocks 100 trend lines should be drawn okay okay sir. by just marking support and resistance you can draw like this right once you once you draw your trend line okay one trend line is this and you have marked uh, you know uh, buy or selling support or resistance over it okay that's also fine for me okay but okay. uh, you just draw on a day trend uh, day basis right and uh, i think hope you know that trend line is not only like in uptrend uh, less uh, i think in nifty 50 we will get one more chance to draw support and resistance how uh, do we do that mm -mm, just give me a second i'm telling you uh, just close me this volume chart i think i don't need it right now you can see here yeah yeah right i have draw a trend line and one more i think i can draw okay yeah seems good see our uh, once the stock is taking support on this trend line okay stock is taking support one time second time third time okay once the third time stock break this support level they become they went in uptrend okay and after that trend when the stock coming back down they they make this support uh, this resistance level as a support level okay for these three points this is the this is the resistance level okay resistance okay, okay. what basically what resistance means resistance means that the stock is not able to break that point a stock is not able to sustain above that point right and what is the support level support level is basically the stock is not able to sustain below that point okay the stock will take the stock will take downtrend and once they will 
resist uh, they will reach to their support level they will take some rest there and again they will back to their uh, you know uptrend or downtrend whatever they there will be okay and once the stock will reach to their this is resistance level for these two and see once this is breaking this and uh, taking support then it will take support over this can you see this the stock yes. is taking support okay and again if you draw a trend line again you can see here the stock once the stock has broken this level after breaking this level this is the this is the point the stock is take, taking support can you okay. see this right yes and again once it is breaking this level this it's make a high and then there is a downfall okay and see how beautifully the stock is respecting this level right the stock is trending for lot more days like i think how many days it is trading february to april i think it's taking this it's respecting this level for approx 2 months right 2 months and once the stock is once the stock took support and again taking the you know again it's going in uptrend they again make is it fine if i draw a trend line this i will ex, I, if i extend this trend line that's okay can you see this again stock is taking support after a small uptrend okay and again stock is going back to an uptrend right a small support at this level yes. this line okay yes. once the stock make it support after supporting at this level again stock in uptrend okay this is a medium term uptrend and in this medium term there is some downtrend some small trend right which we call short trend okay and see okay. stock stock market always giving you chance to exit your position at the peak level right what how we can identify those levels how i, I can I, how we can identify is after reaching a certain moment after uh, giving a certain moment reaching at certain level stock start give, start showing some resistance like it will go to this level see how beautifully it's going uh, just give me a second uh, let me clear it yeah now see if we draw a line here mm-hmm. see the stock is trying to touch this line one time second time third time right the yes. stock made some downtrend okay and uh, not able to break it again it's trying to break this level but not able to break it and once this stock break this level this candle is breaking right then what we are getting is a how beautiful round trend we are getting can you see this yeah it, how beautiful it is right so stock market stock is always giving chance you to exit at peak level right if you will not i able to identify those levels you will not able to get any good profit from the market right so what uh, we will learn all the things how we can do this okay and uh, so here we are, we are getting a one more trend if we draw a trend line see you can we can say that how beautiful this stock is taking support on this level right yes again again there is support if i draw a resistance i think that will also be fine okay. right again it's taking
and see once the stroke is breaking its trend line see it went it, up how it went right yes so it's always and how how we can find that it, it's going to break its trend line see here stock is taking the uh, stock is spending approx 3 days on this level okay yeah. again stock came back and stock is spent approx 2 days at this level right see see uh, here stock is making a candle second third and fourth stock is keep up trend right but at this point stock is making one or two or three candle right and trying to hold it right trying to stay on that level but here you can see stock made four candle right trying to stay there but it's broke that level and after breaking that level it went up approx it given i think uh, around 11100 to 11700 right so this is how we can find uh, identify a trend and how we can draw a trend line don't don't hesitate don't get fearful or don't be shameful just open any stock okay and uh, where you can see where you can find that there should be a trend line or there might be a trend line just draw a line okay and check that whether it's going fine or not uh, in which uh, broker you have your account uh 010 Zero the okay, and uh, next week I will share a uh, different broker. Okay, that's uh, perfectly that's awesome broker till now present in the market. Okay, and it will help you a lot to you know trade on that broker. Okay, there there are a lot of trading features present there on that broker. Right, right. And if you will learn a few things, right. you will never be in loss right yes that's true and i will i will tell those things and next week i will share all my uh, uh, today i will share the uh, those stocks in excel sheet right but next week i will share my own i have coded my own uh, you know a software in excel sheet right okay which fed data from live stock market and update data on live right which okay. and i i will also 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 tell next uh, in next session how you have to read those data okay <laughs> and how you can take benefit of those data okay and we will cover some uh, uh, we will cover four parts four major analysis part in uh, next class right and on the uh, in next class our technical analysis part will be completed and after that we will start strategizing strategy for the day trading sure okay so uh, i think uh, you are clear with your task for the day yes sir. right and this trend lines and support and resistance is clear for you yeah it's clear it's clear okay. but one thing i wanted to ask you hmm. yeah go ahead uh, let's just say if i take out any chart Mm-hmm. Of any stock, mm-hmm. uh, how would I be able to judge? Let's just say uh, it crossed the resistance, as in that mm-hmm. this is a support line, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, how would we know that it's going to break the support with the help of once it breaks, it might go down or it'll just go up and up? See uh, how how we can find the uh, how we can confirm the breakout is. that after breakout see uh, just uh, give me a second uh, let me refresh this chart okay sure, so sure i sure. think this all things will be clear so if i draw a trend line let me delete it let me go for a trend line see if 
I draw a trend line you can see the stock is taking support again and again on this level okay yes not able to break and sustain below this means see here we here we can see a stock break this level this uh, trend line okay but next day it opened uh, it's opened below this okay open below this trend line and give closing above this trend line okay okay it means there is no downtrend right okay yeah it, it seems here that downtrend is possible but after closing after closing this candle this candle give close give closing below this trend line and again once the stock open next day it give close above this trend line okay okay, okay. let me draw one more trend line above this okay now uh, let's check this uh, this trend line stock is taking uh -oh. stock is taking resistance at this level again at this level again at this level again at this level see what what we find here is what we find beautiful here is and how we can find that this is this might be a breakout see here you can see a very small candle are making here okay as in the fourth the fourth uh, circle yeah where it break the resistance as in the support yeah i just it went up let me now that at the red circle okay can you see four candles here this one yes i did this one this one and this one the fourth candle which is large one and which kept closing above that uh, at uh, that trend line can you see that yeah i do see after the giving closing above this trend line stock open above this line okay yes stock open above this trend line and give closing above this trend line okay means opening and closing of that day is above this trend line okay this this candle was our confirmation for uptrend yeah that's what i was i wanted to confirm because as, as for the first circle hmm. uh, if you see it the this resistance as in the support it went down they crossed the support line hmm. but the next day it went up again hmm. so but there was no sign of going down no it was yeah okay. but again at this point the candle gave closing above this point okay and next candle open above this point and close above that point okay and then stock take stock give an uptrend right yeah you can see this okay and and one more thing let me tell you which is Can you can you find some patterns where the stock was stock is taking retracement? Can you find some common pattern over there where from where stock is taking retracement? Uh, in in other words, retracement. Ah, uh, retracement means from where stock is taking U turn. Okay, I, I believe, believe if you, you see, see the, the month, month of August, August in between August, August and September. August and September, yeah. That's, That's where the circle, circle you yeah you mark the circle the first one. That's, That's a retracement, retracement and I believe in between, between November, November to October, October. like towards, towards the end, end of October, October. Oh, starting October. of November. 
okay so let me uh, let me tell you what what is the thing that's giving a confirm a uh, you know a little bit hint of reversal okay okay uh, just let me clear it let me reload this chart one more time start from okay uh, do you know something about candlesticks means uh, yes. what are what these candles mean uh, green and red yeah yeah okay green are those when uh, people are buying and red is where people are selling okay okay let me tell you something about candlestick i think you are not clear about it basically basically this candle is this is the body of candle okay the color you are seeing which is filled hello yeah you can you see the color which is filled in the you know yeah the green in the candle okay the green color which is filled in candle what this mean is basically this is the body of the candle okay okay this is called we called it body okay uh, actually my pen is not working just give me a second let me show you in So, um, I'm sorry for the background voice. There is a construction going on. Okay, okay, no issue. Just let it be. These are the candles we are seeing, right? Yeah. yeah. That it will be only two candles. Okay. Let me fill some color in it. This is our green candle. Okay. and let's say this is our red candle okay okay so what it means is basically this is the body of candle okay 
right yes again this is the body of candle okay in red candle and green candle the both bodies is different different meanings for this this is the wick okay the line you are seeing above the candle is it's called wick okay this is the wick okay above this candle it represents the high of the candle okay and below this candle it represents the low of that candle okay but in red in, and this is the open Oh, this is the opening of candle. Okay. The part you are seeing here, and okay. this part, the end of the this body, it is called closing of the candle. It's known as closing. closing? Yeah. The above, above this, uh, sorry. The starting of this week, this point, okay. this is called the closing of this candle. Means this stock. Open at this price, okay. Met this low, okay, and met this high, but close at this price. Are you able to get it? I got confused in between. Uh, okay, okay. The last part. Uh, just let me draw a very clear image. each candlestick is a lot about stock right but we just have to understand and find out the meaning of these candles okay i'm drawing here a green candle okay so uh, just uh, forget about all the thing i will explain green candle here okay this is the wick upper wick of the candle okay and this is the this is the body of candle and this is the lower wick of the candle okay let me fill color in it My drawing is not so good, but just <laughs> I'm trying to explain you so that it becomes clear to you. Okay, now it seems like a candle. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it looks, looks like, like it. Yeah. Okay, so what it means is this is the body of candle. Okay. Okay. We call it body, and these two things. Call it wick. Wicks. Okay. And what what this what this lower side represent is? It represents that stroke went at this level, uh, went down till this level. Okay. On that particular time frame. See, candle are of one minute. Okay. Uh, sorry. One minute. Three minute. Five minute. Seven minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour, and uh, one days. Okay. So these are these are the minutes, and these are the. Hours and this this is the day. So each candle at that particular time frame represents the moment of that stock in that particular time frame. That how much what will what has been the volatility in the market during that candle. Okay. So 
this is the week okay. this is the down week of the candle down week represents the day low uh, sorry if if we are considering a green candle for daily okay 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 this candle is for one day okay and this one day candle means this is the day low means stock went till this level okay this is opening means at 9:15 at 9:15 stock open at this level okay okay uh let me give some value to it 105 is its opening okay 10109 is its closing 112 okay okay 112 is its day high and uh, okay. One zero, one zero one is it? Day low, okay. At this point, at this level, candle close means C L S I N Z. It means three three thirty. Market close at three thirty. Okay. Yeah, close. Yeah. So market close at three thirty, and uh, this is the closing candle. Okay. This is the opening candle at nine fifteen a.m. three thirty p.m. And this is the day. During all the day, what was the range? If we ask about, if we ask the range of the candle, that. that a particular day on let's say this candle was of last day last day what was the date last day and i think it was 12 april right yeah 12 april yeah. so if if we ask about what was the range of the of this candle on 12th april we will say that the stroke moved from 1012 112 means yeah 101 to 112 stock moved during the day but stock opened at 105 and stock give closing at 109 right 109 okay so stock the stock was volatile till this moment right and let me stock was volatile stock moved from this level to this level okay okay but what stock did is stock give closing from this level to this level only right okay, okay. so uh, in this happens in green candle okay and what happens in red okay. candle is just uh, same week okay okay same body same week same body right but this candle will be in green, uh, red So, so one thing in red, in red, red candlestick is vice versa, right? What happens in green, it goes the opposite in the red. Yes, but a little bit different thing. Was only two things okay. changes in a red candle, right? Okay. Open, which is opening and closing of the candle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it looks like our red candle.
ओके दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द सेम थिंग डे हाई ओके दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द सेम थिंग डे लो बट हियर वन थिंग गेट चेंज दिस इज द सेम थिंग विच इज बॉडी एंड दीज आर द वीक्स ओके बट बट हियर वॉट चेंजेस इज ये द वनली चेंज इज दिस इज इट्स ओपनिंग ओके एंड दिस इज इट्स क्लोजिंग इफ वी टेक द सेम डेट ट्वेल्थ अप्रैल राइट एट नाइन फिफ्टीन candle open at 9:15 close at 3 3:30 okay and uh, let's give some value to it and uh, put this value as opening price is 107 okay closing price is 03 day high day low is 101 and day high is 1010 10. okay so everything remain same in red candle just opening and closing get change okay okay sir yeah so uh, i think candlestick is a little bit clearer for you uh, the ca- water candle yeah it's clear. clear okay so uh, So if we, if we change our time frame right like we are uh, now it's daily if we change it to one minute candle then the same candle represents the stock movement about that minute okay if we change about to five minute that the same candle represents about the stock on that particular five minute right uh, and it goes on right so again let's uh, get back to on this candlestick okay okay uh, i don't, I don't see, see anything, anything. I, can i can see, see i can, I can only, only see the, the screen. screen is it like it's, it's blank, blank. no okay um you're not able to see anything now no, i can I see the wallpaper wall that's it okay now still you are seeing wallpaper yeah, yeah. Okay, just give me a second. Sure. Yeah, I, I can, can see now. Um, now, can you see trading view platform? Yeah, yeah it's, it's better. better. Okay. Yeah, 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 I can see. So we were talking, we were talking about. Can you find some patterns over here? like from where stock is taking retracement Ret- uh, retracement uh, just uh, whenever i say retracement it means the stock is taking reversal from that point if it down if it uptrend then stock is taking uh, downtrend from that point if it downtrend then stock is taking uptrend from that point Re- my reversal means that okay so uh, okay so I think it's lagging a lot. Uh, your movements are very slow. It's taking longer time. Hello. Yeah. Uh, just give me a sec. Uh, yeah. Now you can see it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was not even able to hear you. I can see and I can hear. Uh, you can. Okay. You can't see me. Uh, you can't see the chart, right? 
yeah, yeah I, I, I can i can see the chart now okay see so let me give some number to it right this is the one sure. this is the two let me change it for my tablet mode I think my pen will work. Yeah. Now, here. Here is four candle. Let me number it. It's number one. It's number two. It's number three. It's number four. It's five, six, and this one is seven. Now, can you see the pattern on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Pattern of candle. I do. Okay. What yeah. is it? So, so on, on number, number one, one it's uh, uh, I think it's breaking, breaking the support, support and it's dragging down. down. Market is falling here. And then two, I think it's going up after. If you have drawn any of the lines, I believe you have crossed the support and it went up till number three. Okay, actually, let me tell you one thing. This is I'm talking about candlestick, right? You can see here okay. the candle is which is forming the candle at this top, which is a little bit kind of this kind of candle. Means their wick is larger than their body. Okay. Right. These are the patterns you are seeing it that week is way larger than their bodies. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. So what what does it mean? Is it means that the when the when the when this candle is formed, it's giving you alert sign. Be alert. There is something confusion in the market. That whatever the trend is market uh, falling till now, it's going to be changed. Every time you will see this. Whenever the candle is forming, market is trending, changing its trend. Okay. Can you see this? There are a lot of patterns that yeah. we will that we will discuss in you know. We will discuss it later. Right. I, I will kill okay. all. I will clear all the candlestick, all the patterns. Then how uh, I will tell everything about breakout, right? You will just able to okay. after watching the trend, you will able to find out the what may be the breakout, right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, this this is called a shooting star candle. Okay. Shooting star always. Okay, I know about shooting star and. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Sure. Okay, no issue. So, this is called I think shooting star. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello. Sir, sir, I'm not even able to hear you. Please, we are having uh, the voice is lagging a lot. Oh, okay, okay. Just, just give me a second, okay? Sure. Uh, now I'm audible. Yes, sir. Okay. So basically, Hello. yeah. Basically, what does shooting stars means, right? That the trend is going to be changed. The, when the 
when this candle is formed on the top of the you know top of the trend where from where trend is taking reversal it is called shooting star and when this is formed at the bottom of the reversal it is called morning shooting star morning star okay i will i will explain all these candlestick okay. patterns later in later lectures okay maybe for on tomorrow or next lecture okay till that sure. you till that your task task is to just uh, filter uh, just to draw trend line on these on those 50s stocks which i will send you in excel sheet 156 stocks right and you have to pick sure. any 50 sure. stocks and you have to draw trend line on uh, on 50 stocks and at least 100 trend lines should be drawn okay and mark their uh, buy and okay. sell okay after day trading okay, uh, after day trading lecture when uh, once i will uh, explain you what is day trading okay and some strategy uh, i will ask you to do some paper okay. trade and after after that week okay. Once you will complete your paper trading, I will tell you another strategy which will help you to set your mindset as a trader psychology. Okay, so you can sure, after, sir. after that you will able to get more profit out of market by following minimum risk. Okay, sure, sir. okay, okay, so this that's all for the to today okay and uh, we will again have a lecture on okay. next today at same time okay 2 p.m sure sir. Okay. okay and all right sir. we Thank will you. you're welcome we will cover some most important things okay and uh, today i cannot uh, cover the most important thing just because this is uh, i wanted to upload it for the you know many people was asking for uh, videos because uh, on first training we were not able to okay. record video right that's why so sorry for the inconvenience but uh, from that's okay. tomorrow we will cover the best things right okay, okay. bye bye all right okay all right okay all right. thank you you're welcome